is the story of Escape from the Gremlins. You can read along with me in your book. You will know it is time to turn the page when you hear the chimes ring like this. Let's begin now. Billy Peltzer had received a gift from his father, a friendly mogwai creature named Gizmo. A mogwai is cute, furry, and little, but the responsibility of owning one is big. Billy had broken one of the mogwai rules when he spilled water on Gizmo, which created five new mogwai. These new creatures, led by Stripe, were sneaky and mischievous. They tricked Billy into breaking another rule, feeding them after midnight. The five mogwai had covered themselves in large, sticky cocoons, and when they broke out a day later, they had changed. The new creatures were no longer warm and cuddly. They were mean and destructive, as Billy found out when he came home from work. The Christmas tree was smashed, the kitchen a mess, and his room a disaster. Worst of all, they had beaten up Gizmo. Billy found his tiny pet trembling in the corner, and he gently placed him into his nylon backpack. Come on, Gizmo. We've got to go after those monsters. You ride shotgun. Billy grabbed a flashlight, and they headed out into the cold winter night. In moments, Billy found a set of tracks in the snow. Hmm. These footprints go straight toward the local gymnasium. And look, Gizmo, the front window's broken. They must be inside. Billy cautiously entered the silent building. Boy, I can't see a thing in here, Giz. Let's find the light switch. His footsteps echoed ominously as he stalked across the empty gymnasium. They know they're in here somewhere, Gizmo. Something shot out at him. What's that? Oh. It's only a basketball. A jeering, high-pitched laugh filled the building. <laughs> Billy gripped his flashlight. The creature is toying with me, Gizmo. He could have attacked, but he didn't. <laughs> the nasty laughter suddenly stopped. It was deathly quiet. I think I see the light control box, Gizmo. Now we'll fix him. Billy approached the electrical cabinet and opened it. Ah! Crouching inside the box was Stripe. Only now, he was no longer a furry little mogwai. He was bigger and vicious looking. He still had his white stripe, but his fur had been replaced with hard, scaly armor. Instead of paws, he displayed sharp three-fingered claws and a huge mouth filled with pointed, gleaming teeth wrapped around his face in a wicked grin. Stripe had become a gremlin. Stripe leaped straight at Billy, knocking him down and tumbling Gizmo out of the backpack. With one mighty swipe of his muscular arm, the gremlin shredded Billy's sweater. Stripe stood over Billy as if to attack again, but he didn't. Instead, he just smiled wickedly, cackled one last hideous laugh, and leaped off in the opposite direction. Suddenly, Billy realized where Stripe was headed. No, don't jump in the swimming pool. Stop! It was too late. The gremlin had splashed into the water. Billy sprang to his feet. This is awful, Gizmo. The water will react with Stripe's skin, and it'll multiply. Soon there'll be thousands of gremlins. Already the water was bubbling with the creation of new creatures. Soon, the pool churned and boiled as countless gremlins multiplied faster and faster. Billy picked up Gizmo and raced to the door. We've got to get help, Giz. We won't be able to stop them alone. As Billy stumbled outside, he heard Stripe's familiar gremlin laugh. Only now, it was multiplied by the hundreds. Billy ran all the way to the police station. Quick, the town's in danger. The gym is full of these... These gremlins. Oh, yeah? Like this one here? A policeman grinned at harmless little Gizmo. He sure looks mighty ferocious to me. No, this is a mogwai. He's friendly. Gremlins are nasty. Billy, go home. We've got no time for pranks. The officer waved Billy aside as he answered his phone. 
He listened briefly and then turned to his partner. Freak accident. Seems an animal yanked down all of Mrs. Nager's outdoor Christmas lights. Billy interrupted. That was no accident. It was the gremlins. 